your school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live. Recorded. On demand all in HD. Easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies anywhere, on any device, perfect for the entire family. And easy to use. Enjoy Pioneer iVideo today. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, 
bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging, work seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies anywhere, on any device, perfect for the entire family. And easy to use. Enjoy Pioneer iVideo today. Welcome back to day three of the Cherokee Invitational Tournament. Today, we'll start this girls game at 1240. Your Burlington Lady Elks versus the Palm Creek Hunter Lady Panthers. Yesterday, your Burlington Lady Elks won a close game with Timberlake, decided in the last three or four minutes of the game. Today, they're looking to play Palm Creek. Palm Creek will be in the home whites. Black trim, black lettering. Burlington's going to be in the road purples with black lettering, white trim, and tr no. black trim around the jersey as well. Starting last year, Burlington Lady Elks. Number one, Ashlyn Pascal. Number 11, Jaden Williams. Number 22, Kylie Hamilton. Number 25, Miley Sims. And number 32, Brooke Whitted. Same starting lineup we've had for most of the season now. Very senior leading group with four seniors out there, one junior and Miley Sims. They look really energetic and ready to roll today. Coach Hamilton giving instructions for the tip. To get the concrete starting lineup, you're going to have number 10, a junior, Emily Davis. You're going to have number 12, a junior, Brink Brinkley Bartley. Gonna have number 21, a senior, Peyton Zahorski. You're gonna have number 25, a sophomore, Abby Miller. And then you're gonna have number 44, a sophomore, Reagan McReynolds. This Palm Creek team is a young team. They've grown throughout the last few years, played together for a long time. Um, Palm Creek's advantages are they are they've got great post play, and they're gonna look to pound the ball inside. They're gonna they're gonna give a press. They run different presses. We'll talk about which presses throughout the way. Burlington's advantages are the quickness, maturity, and at least the way that I've seen it, the way they've played together all year long and gotten better each game under direction new head coach Margo Hamilton. And we're just about to tip. Official Doug Swanger blows the whistle, ball is up. Tip is won and controlled by Palm Creek Hunter. Dead ball at top of the key, swung to the left wing. High post entry, looking high low. Not there, three point shot made by number 12, Brinkley Bartley. Press on. As we discussed, looks like a 2-1-1 two, one, one, or 2-2-1. Two, two, they have a little rotation different based, I think, on where we're matched up. We break it easily. Jaden Williams brings the ball to front court, passes to Hallie Williams, dribbles down to the left short corner side, skip pass to Jaden, catch shot, three-point bucket made. Jaden Williams, assist by Hallie Hamilton. Burlington puts on press as they did yesterday, a 2-2-1 two, two, press. Going to force ball to the sideline, try to trap Right across half court, ball goes up, deflected by Miley Sims, still by Hallie Hamilton, pass to Jaden Williams up to the left wing. Man-to-man -man defense shown by Palm Creek. Ashley gets the ball tipped away from her, Brooks saves it, close to the half court line, no back court, knew where she was. 
Hallie to Ashland. Ashland to Jaden at the point. Back over to Brooke. Hallie flashes, catches it top of the key. One dribble left, pass to Ashland, to Jaden. Over to Hallie Hamilton. Looks to drive left. Nothing there. Turns the ball over. Not a very good pass at the moment. Concrete tries to go away themselves. They go race after it to get it. Ball inside. Outside. Turnover. As we discussed yesterday, and say out basketball is a good way to play basketball. It draws defense in. Kick out. Shoot a three. That's what Palm Creek's going to try to do much of the game today. Ball inbounds. 2-2-1 two, two, press here by Palm Creek is what it is. Break it easily. Jane looks to attack left. Nothing there. Thought about throwing to Ashland. Didn't do it. Now Halley with the ball. Back to Jaden. Halley has it. Going to dribble into a shot. Three-point bucket. Long rebound to Palm Creek. Concrete bringing the ball up, just crossed half court, ball the corner, ball inside. Corner three, made, number 21, Peyton Zorski. 2-2-1 two, two, press back on, ball into. We have a 30-second timeout by Coach Hamilton. We're going to stay here. She's going to ask what's going on here. I <coughs> Two, two made threes in the corner. We're not getting out to the shooters fast enough. We're going to have to make an adjustment there, especially both shots, same place, inside-out basketball. Palm Creek's in a man-to-man defense on the other end. We're looking a little lackadaisical on that side, not really being super aggressive, but we've had a couple good looks. Um, you know, those looks have continued to fall for us. I think later in the game, we're one for two right now on them. Neither team has any fouls. Scores six to three. Palm Creek is up. Five nineteen left to go in the first quarter. Burlington breaks the huddle. Step in their press breaker, getting ready for Palm Creek's two two one press. Palm Creek Express isn't necessarily trying to create steals. They're just trying to slow us down, take us out of getting in a routine and setting an offense up as easy as we have been. Ball to Ashland, back over to Jay. Cross that court. Here comes a trap. She's going to dribble out of it or try to. There's the trap deflected. Going to be Burlington ball. Sideline out bounds into Jaden. Coach Hamilton calls a set. Parker in a zone right now. Switch defense ball. High post Halley. Kick out to Jaden. Catch shot. Three May. Jaden Williams. Six points for her. Two assists now for Halley Hamilton. Score tied 6 to 6. 4.45 left to go in the first quarter. Palm Creek gets across half court, breaks the press, gets the ball back to the middle. There's that corner. We got out, but we had a bad closeout. So they drive by us. Going to draw a foul. It's going to be the first team foul in Burlington. Seal number 22, Ashland, or 22, Hallie Hamilton. First free throws of the day for either team. First free throws up and good. Free throws being shot by Peyton Zahorski. It's our fourth point of the day. Score 7 to 6. Concrete up. Second free throw up. Long miss. Miss box out. Peyton gets her own rebound. Kicks it out. Pass deflected. Going to be concrete ball. Sideline out of bounds. Just on concrete side of half court. Burlington man to man defense here. Ball goes in the corner. Looking inside. It's three seconds right there. They're not calling it. And they're going to end up getting a bucket out of it. Nope. Oh, miss. Over the back call because of it. Good box out by Miley Sims to force that. First foul on number 44, Reagan McReynolds. That's huge for Burlington. There's a size disadvantage there. If we can get her some fouls to get her on the bench, it sure would 
Um, they let our defense rotate as normal. Again, press breaker just looking to trap us across half court. We get out of it. Hallie Hamilton with the ball. Reverse loop, Ashland to Jaden. Jaden trying to make something happen. Hand off to Brooke. Back to Jaden. <coughs> Little pump fake. Didn't quite get her all the way. Going to reverse it. Let it go out of bounds here off Pond Creek. Going to be Burlington ball. Half court, far side from the bucket. <coughs> Ball in bounds to Jaden Williams again. Let's see, Pond Creek's in their 2 3 zone right here. High post, Miley Sims. Kick out to Jaden Williams. Miss. Offensive rebound, Ashland had a shot. Went against it. Ball in the corner of Brooke Witta. Inside to Hallie Hamilton. That's a foul on number 44. Reagan McReynolds, that's her second. That's a big foul for us. That's her second foul with 3.49 left to go in the first quarter. I don't see a sub coming right now. Second team foul for Pond Creek. Baseline out of bounds for Burlington right here. Pond Creek still in a 2-3 zone. High screens. Kick out to the corner. Picked it up in the corner. Got to get out of that corner. Deflection going to be, oh, it's going to be a foul. They call that on number 12, Brinkley Bartley, her first. Score still 7-6, to six, Pond Creek, with 3.40 left to go in the first quarter. Ball on the right wing to Ashland Pascal. Inside to Hallie Hamilton, attacks the bucket on the floor. Calls a jump ball, not a foul, but it's going to be Burlington ball, baseline out of bounds. Pond Creek's going to deny the short pass, and they're going to force skip passes today. So anytime you're looking for something to reverse to the points, probably not going to be there as easy as just a skip pass. Ball's inbound, Brooke with it, into Miley Sims, looking to make a score. See, goes up, get, draws a foul. It's going to be a third foul, I believe, on 44 Reagan McReynolds. And it sure is her third foul in the first quarter. She's going to come out of the game here for sure, I would assume. Coach Hart's going to put someone in there for her. First free throw of the day for Burlington up and rims in for Miley Sims, her first points of the day. And sure enough, number 22 is coming in. Thomas, she's a sophomore, is coming in for the other sophomore, Reagan McReynolds. Second free throw up for Miley, up and good. That's an 8 7 lead right now for Burlington Elks with 3.20 to go left in the first quarter. Press on. Again, we're trying to get a trap or just get a little deflection in the backcourt. Ball at the top, trying to dribble by Jade, not there. Step back, picked it up, deflected, loose ball. Regains her dribble. Step back, baseline jumper, goes in. Nine to eight, Pond Creek. Uh, not a very good pass by Ashland. Picked up in a bad spot, got rid of it. Missed layup, but we have kids jogging back. We got to get back right there, get a rebound. Probably thought she was just going to make that layup, but it hasn't always happened. Pressure turned up a little bit. Here's a kick out. Kick out to Ashland. Three-point bucket. 11 to 11. Ashland's first three points of the day. Good job by Burlington right there. Pressure was turned up by Palm Creek trying to force turnover. He skipped out of it. Got one extra pass, and Ashland knocks down the three. Palm Creek with the ball, looking to drive. Jaden on the ball, kick out to number 21, three-point shot up, and made. That's Peyton Zahorski. 14 to 11, Pond Creek with two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Good skip pass, handled by Brooke. Errant pass there. Didn't, we're not sprinting back once again. Causes a foul. That's probably going to have to get better on this effort a little bit. Maybe we're tired third day of the tournament, um, but we're each time that Pond Creek gets a turnover, we look up and we have two or three girls jogging back right now, and I'm sure my Coach Hamilton's going to get that fixed at some point. Um, I think she's saying it right now, actually. So we got to get back in order to maybe get a stop, get a rebound, free throw up, and good for Pond Creek, 15 to 11, 146 left to go in the first quarter. We're only down four right now, potentially five for this free throw. Second one's up. It's a five-point lead, 16-11 for Concrete. 
Being down five, Pockridge shooting the ball extremely well at this moment. And Hallie Hamilton has not scored yet today, and so we're actually not in too bad of a spot uh, if we could just take care of the ball and get some shots up. Whether this storm, basketball is a game of runs. If we can weather this run, create a run of our own, we'll be right in the game. It's by no means um, a difficult spot for us. Palm Creek with a foul. Jaden dribbling to the left, draws one. It's going to be foul number 10. That's Emily Davis. It's her first, 13 fifth. High post touch, Miley Sims, kick opposite to Jaden Williams. Ashland Pascal throws the ball, goes off Pond Creek, out of bounds. Baseline out of bounds. The Burlington ball, we're going to set up four. Box set, looks like we're going to screen up, look corner, pop out. Miley Sims comes opposite, going to draw a foul, go to the free throw line. Miley's done a great job of this tournament. Of she's caught the ball with two hands, been strong with it, and John fouls and went to the free throw line a lot the last couple days. Here's her third attempt of the day. Up and in. That's Palm Creek's sixth foul. That's important as the next foul we're on the bonus no matter where the foul is, and we'll be shooting free throws. Second free throw up, off to the right. Hallie Hamilton hustles after the ball. It's going to go... Off Pond Creek, great hustle by Halley. Our ball, 16 to 12. Pond Creek's up. Halley Hamilton created an extra possession there by her effort. Ball up top to Ashland Pascal. Back on the wing to Jaden Williams. Going to set up an offense here. Brookwood at left wing. Looks up baseline. Halley Hamilton attacks baseline. Nice little drive. Misses a layup. Jump ball is going to be called on the baseline. It's going to be Burlington basketball. I believe that it should be Pond Creeks. I don't know if the arrow didn't change one time. Book's wrong. I'm wrong. Someone's wrong. That's all right. We've got the ball. We throw it in. Hallie to Jane Williams. Three-point shot. 16 to 15. Ball in. We get deflection. Pond Creek comes away with it. 40 seconds left. Zorski for three, misses that one. I think it's her first miss of the day. <laughs> Offensive rebound, Palm Creek has the ball at top. We'll see if they go one shot, if they try to score here. we go handoff, Halley gets a deflection. It's going to be an and one off the handoff. Foul's going to be, looks like on Brooke with it, who her First, team third. Scores 18 to 15, Pond Creek. 25.4 seconds left in the first quarter. This is an abnormally high scoring quarter for both of these teams at this moment. Up for those up and miss. I think both teams came ready to play, excited to play, and shots are going down. 15 seconds left in the first quarter. 10 seconds. Ball to Hallie Hamilton. Looking to drive. Picks it up. Kicks out. Five seconds. Four seconds. Three seconds. Jade Williams to the bucket. Layup at the buzzer. 18 to 17 will be the score at the end of the first quarter. Jade Williams with 11 points in the first quarter. Thank you for watching the game on BurlingtonOaks.tv. We'll be back with you after this break. Stream with Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help.
And we are back to the second quarter of the Constellation Championship game. Scores 18 Pond Creek, 17 Burlington Elks. It'll be Pond Creek ball coming out. Really high scoring first quarter. Both teams shooting the ball really well. Both teams being aggressive. Um, came out with a good game plan. Coach Hamilton spent most of that quarter talking about defense and following the, the scouting report on the defensive side of the ball. So we'll see if we can keep scoring like we did, but get some stops and maybe take a lead this quarter. Man-to-man -man defense for the Elks. High on ball screen by Pond Creek. Kick out to Zahorski. Three-point shot, miss. Jaden Williams tracks the ball down. He's got a foul on Zahorski. And that's going to be a one-on-one -on -one for us as we discussed. Every foul from on out, at least is one free throw, hopefully two, and then two more fouls will be in the double bonus. Jane Williams will go to the free throw line here, shooting her first free throw of the day. That's the Horsky's first. First free throw for Jane up and rims out. Halley gets a good hand on the ball, doesn't get it though. Goes to Pond Creek, scores still 18-17. High on ball screen. Number 12 for three. Miss. The Horsky offensive rebound. Put back in. Make. 20 to 17. Pond Creek. Here's the press. They've changed their press. Made it a man to man. Instead of their 2 2 1 to put more ball pressure on. Jaden's going to get the ball and just clear it out. Pass over to Chloe Jantz on the left wing. Now to Brooke Whitted. Back to Jaden. Pond Creek in a man to man. So it looks like when McReynolds is in, they're going to play their 2-3 zone. When she's out, they're going to play a man. Hallie Hamilton with a pass. Goes out of bounds. I think Coach Hamilton's going to get her right here. She is. Hey, Ashley Pascal coming in. Hallie playing a little out uncharacteristic today. Um, that happens sometimes in these tournaments. She's going to come back. Confidence. I think you know she hasn't played well. We're showing down three. She plays just a little bit like her average. We're going to be just fine for the rest of the game. That's part of basketball. Turnover by Pond Creek with a traveling call. Pond Creek still in a man-to-man -man press. Jaden Williams just going to take off the dribble. That's maybe a two-hand check. Doesn't call it. We'll get us back to the free throw line if they will. Ball up top. We'll see what we do here with. Hallie out of the game. A lot of her offense runs through her as far as setting the screens and so forth. And with her out, we'll see how we look continuity-wise. Jaden's driving left. Kick out to Brooke. Back to Jaden. Jaden looked like she wanted to pull it. Decided against it. Attacks hard. Going to draw a foul. Get to the free throw line here. It's going to be the eighth team foul for Pond Creek. Foul's going to be on Abby Miller, her first. First free throw up and rims out. 0 for 2 on the free throw line for Jaden Williams this quarter. Ball on the left wing for Pond Creek. Dead, picks it up. Miley sends a defense, going to the right wing. So she drives, long miss. Chloe Jantz tracks down the rebound, great effort play. Here comes Brooke Whip with the ball, handoff to Jaden Williams. Jaden attacks, looking to draw another foul, get back to free throw line, kick out to Ashland Pascal, over to Brooke with it, to the right, turns it over. Concrete driving. Two points on the turnover to conversion. 22-17, Concrete with five and a half minutes left to go in the second quarter. Ashland bringing it up. They're denying Jaden, so someone else has to bring it up now. Ashland had her beat. Doing all the way to the bucket. Nice pass to find Miley. And she <laughs> gonna call a charge right there. Not sure about that. 50-50 call went against us. That was gonna be on Miley Sims. It's gonna be her first foul. Coach Hamilton and Halley back in for Miley. And he's gonna bring in for the first time today, Casey Motsky, freshman for her fellow freshman, Chloe Jantz. Chloe with good minutes right there, tracking down some rebounds, playing solid defense. Miley, great play right there, 50-50 call. Could have been on the free throw line, just went against her. Pass the corner, Zahorski for three, miss. 
Offside rebound for Ashlyn Pascal. Yesterday she did, if you remember watching, I said I thought she had quite a few rounds. She finished with 12. A lot of those in shots like that. So we'll see if that becomes a trend the rest of the game. Hand off to Jaden Williams. Ball up top. On ball screen coming, set by Casey Motsky. Draws a switch. Screen the screener action. Hallie Hampton for three, misses right. Defensive rebound, Poncrete. Score 22 17. With four minutes left to go in the first quarter. We're going to have an offensive foul. Illegal screen right there. So it's going to go back to Burlington right here. Well, as I talked about, we all scored a bunch in the first quarter. The second quarter's died down a little bit in scoring. Burlington's got to find a way to get some points on the board, whether that's free throw line, layup, something easy. We just need to see the ball go through the net right now and get our confidence back. Pass to Jaden Williams at the top of the key. High on ball screen out of a horn set. Picks it up. We're going to have a foul on Palm Creek. A push somewhere off the ball, I believe. Yep, foul's going to be on number 14. Kelby Briscoe. Jay Williams back to the free throw line. Over two so far this, um, this quarter. A lot of times we don't talk about it, so we don't jinx them. I'm going to talk about it, so maybe I'll take the jinx off. Free throw up. And good. 22-18 is now the score. Pond Creek on top. Second free throw for Jane up and rolls in. That's her 13th point of the night, 22-19. No more press by Burlington. Look, looks like we're picking up man at the half court. High on ball screen coming left. Trying to get to the bucket. Kick out. Three point in the corner. Miss. Backside rebound, Brooke with it. Pass to Hallie Hamilton. They're going to try to trap her. She's going to go right. They're saying it's off Hallie. I'm not sure about that. Couldn't really see from up here. Doesn't look like much argument coming from anybody. Looks like another high on ball screen may come. Nope, handoff is going to come. They do that little loop action. Oh, no box out. Got lucky. Fast break coming. See what Hallie does with it. She's great in these moments attacking. Gonna call a carry right there. Spawn Creek ball coming back the other way. Three minutes, 40 seconds left to go in the first half. 22-19 Pawn Creek. Pawn Creek's either gonna set high on ball screen or they're gonna do these handoff actions. Trying to drive. It looks like it's off Pond Creek. Yes, it is. Burlington ball. Good defense there. Jump to the ball. Beat the, beat the cutters. Got in good position. Forced a turnover. See what Hallie does here again. Pass ahead up to Jaden. He's going to attack. Nice attack by Jaden. Offensive rebound by Casey. Goes up for two. Misses it. Draws the foul. Casey Moskey, freshman, going to go to the free throw line to shoot two right here. That's the third foul as well on Abby Miller. So Pond now has two girls with three fouls. Looks like they're going to get a sub in for her as well after this first free throw. First free throw is up. And just to the right. Two subs for Pond Creek here. Number 22 is coming in. Thomas. I did not catch you the number. I apologize. Second free throw up, and hits backboard off front of the rim, but Casey comes up with a rebound right there. Kick out to Jaden Williams for three, off the back of the rim. Punker gets the defensive rebound, coming down, double high on ball screen, horns action, pop out, looking to go inside with it. Nice take by Pond Creek, two points, 24 to 19 Pond Creek. Press, not a very good decision right there. Threw it into Pond Creek's hands. Still kick out to Zahorski. Three, she's missed her last couple. Won't miss this one. 27 to 19. Timeout, Coach Hamilton. It's going to be a 30-second timeout. So 
Zahorski has hurt us tonight. That's her 18th point already, and that's in the first half. So Burlington has 19, Zahorski has 18, Pond Creek has 27. Right now, strategy is going to have to be be aggressive, get it back to the free throw line. We're in the double bonus. Every time they foul us, we're getting to the free throw line. Allie Hamilton has not played extremely well today. She, effort's great. Energy is great. Shots have not fallen. And they're doing a very good job of face guarding her right there and, and keeping the ball out of her hand. So, again, we'll get her some touches. Ball goes to the net. She has the potential to take this game over. Jay Williams played extremely well so far this game, 13 points in the first half so far. And then our other players, the Brooke and Ashlyn and Miley, have all played extremely well, doing the roles. We've had some turnovers we probably shouldn't have had as a team, but uh, that happens. And those are things that we can fix in this next two and a half minutes. We could probably only be down four to five points, if a little less even, um, going into halftime. So we'll see what Coach Hamilton said coming out of this break. See if we can't cut into this eight-point lead. Pond Creek with their press. Brooke with it to Ashton Pascal. They're face guarding Hallie, face guarding Jaden. Picks it up. <laughs> going to get draw a foul. It's going to send Hallie to the free throw line for two. Let's see if these free throws, we can't see both of these maybe go in. Maybe gain some confidence for Hallie right here going in the rest of this quarter and halftime. Foul count's 12 to 4. You hear Pond Creek fans yelling that. Um, rest are just calling fouls they see and there's the first but they're up and good and you know Pond Creek's still in their press we got out of our press so teams that press usually end up with a few more fouls second free throw up and good it's going to make it 27-21 we're going to have a full timeout by Pond Creek so this time we're going to take a break with them thank you for watching Elks.tv. <laughs> school or business to purchase a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. And we're back. We're just about to come out from a full timeout called by Pond Creek. They've used, that's the first time out of the day they've used. We've used two 30-second timeouts. Score is 27-21. Two minutes, 21 seconds left to go before halftime. Howard just hit two free throws. We're going to see a press now, not a full press looks like, just a little two-man press by Brooke and Jay, just make them have to think a little bit. It's because we're going to face guard, the point guard, make someone else set up the offense here. Good adjustment by Coach Hamilton. Not going to let number 10 catch the ball, that's Emily Davis. And it works for his possession out, and turnover by Pond Creek. Press to be on by Pond Creek now. Brooke with the ball, drove one to the right. Picks it up, gonna need some help. Timeout by Coach Hamilton, she is not happy. Everyone left the ball right there. Let's see if we got a 30 second timeout, it's gonna be her last 30. Third timeout call of the half. 27-21, Pond Creek leads with 158 left to go in the second quarter. We are changing it to a full timeout. So when we come back, we'll talk strategy. Thank you for watching BurlingtonElks.tv. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, 
bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging, works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Diesel Horse Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Diesel Horse get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. And we're back out of that full timeout called by Coach Hamilton. Concrete still stays in their full court man-to-man. -man. They're trying to make sure Hallie and Jaden don't touch the ball, force some other people to bring it up. Get it in Jaden, now we just clear out. She attacks, right hand, pass out to Brooke with it. Pass back to Jaden Williams, drive, pass in. Jaden somehow comes away with it, scoop shot and miss. Defensive rebound by Concrete, ball on the floor. Fast break, ball up ahead to Zahorski. She's gonna drive right, looks to kick out. Three point shot from the corner up and long. Backside rebound, gonna go off of Palm Creek. Burlington ball. I think that one, we might have touched it last, but they opted against calling a push right there and putting us on the free throw line since foul count is what it is maybe, and so they d gave us the ball. And Concrete's gonna get it right back. Their full court man to man has definitely brought the pressure and has caused us issues this evening, or this morning, or afternoon, wherever you may be. Ball's gonna go up to the point. Catch, one dribble, pass to Zorski. Dribble right, pass back out. Ball on the ground, Brooke gets on the ground with it. Help defense is good. The Horsky drive right. Keeps driving, it's gonna be a deflection still by Casey Motsky. Hallie Hamilton pushing the ball up the left side of the floor. She's gonna attack it all the way. <laughs> Deflected off Pond Creek, gonna be Burlington ball, baseline out of bounds. Sub in, Miley Sims. She can come in for Casey Motsky. See if Miley can't get a few rebounds here, get back to the free throw line. She's done a great job this tournament of doing that, as I said earlier. Zorsi was tying her shoe. We had a little break. Now we're back in it. Four flat set up. We're going to go back. Set a ball. Screen for Miley. Kick out. Baseline or out of bounds on the sideline. We pawn creek ball. Their man to man pressure has definitely bugged us tonight. I'm sure at halftime, Coach Hamilton's going to address that. Be strong with the ball. Make good passes. Throw it away from the defense. Pawn creek to bring it up. Jaden still face guarding. They said a screen. Four, so therefore she um, was open. Emily Davis was able to get it. Zahorski with another three. That's 21 points in the first half of their 30. She has lit it up tonight. Fall in to Ashlyn Pascal. To Hallie Hamilton. She's going to drive. Good idea to pass to Miley Sims. Little low off Miley's legs. Goes out of bounds. 30 to 21 to score. Park Creek up with 40.6 seconds left. Coach Hamilton still face guarding Emily Davis, so they can't get into their normal offensive sets. Park Creek's gonna try to set screens for her to get her open. Pass the wing. Ashton Pascal deflects it. Ball's gonna go out of bounds off Burlington. It's gonna be Park Creek ball. We got a 30 second timeout called by Park Creek here. Scores 30 to 21. Palm Creek leads with 29.6 seconds left to go in the first half. Coach Hart here has got a couple options. He can go two for one. That means he's gonna maybe try to score real fast, set the press up, try to get a stop and score again. Another option is since he's up nine, go one shot to try to get a great shot before the half and go up double digits. Sometimes that backfires or it creates turnovers because you're not looking to score. So we'll see what he opts to do here. We'll see Burlington, they've been face guarding Emily Davis. Um, when they start doing something like that with Zahorski as well, with her having 21 points. She's 21, Burlington's 21, and Palm Creek is 30. So see if Coach does something different with her, either this possession or after halftime. Foul count, we're in the double bonus. We've only committed four fouls, that's great for a team. We don't have a whole lot of kids on our team. We have eight players, so the less foul trouble we're in, the better it is late in the game. Ball's gonna be taken out on the far sideline from us. They're gonna stack, and they're gonna get the ball in to Destiny Ortiz. Ball's gonna go to Emily Davis. They're gonna opt to try to go score. They're gonna call a foul. 
See if it's on the ground or shooting two. He's going to call on the ground, so the ball's going to be baseline out of bounds for Concrete. Foul's going to be on Ashlyn Pascal. It's going to be her second. Everyone thought they were shooting but us, and so but now we're good. We're going to be on the baseline. Stack set. Ball pops out. Backside cut. Ball's going up top. Deflection by Brooke. See what happens here. 20 seconds left. Concrete still looking like they're going to try to score. We're going to have a foul right here. Foul's going to be, I believe, on Hallie Hamilton. It is her second, team six. Next foul on Burlington. Creates free throws for Pond Creek. 18 seconds left to go here in the second quarter. Ball to the point. Picks it up, looking for someone to pass to. Ball goes to Ortiz. 10 seconds left. Looking to go right. Ball to Davis. Jane's going to have her ball in the corner. We give up the base on that's going to be free throws now. It's me, I believe, Ashland's third foul. Bad time to foul there, and especially draw your third and put him on the free throw line. There's a great take there for Pond Creek. Baseline drive, right hand. Coach Hart choosing to take the girls off the free throw line. Reason is you don't want to get over the back call and put us on the free throw line. Ball goes to Jaden Williams. Pushing it one second. Gets it off. That's probably a foul. They're not going to call it late there. Hard to see. She was running. She won't change anything. Score at halftime. It's going to be 30 to 21. We'll come back after this break with you guys. Talk game plan for the second half. Some adjustments. We appreciate you guys watching this on BurlingtonElks.tv. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies anywhere on any device, perfect for the entire family. And easy to use. Enjoy Pioneer iVideo today. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. a new phone system? Give the experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. 
This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. Stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live. Recorded. On demand all in HD. Easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies anywhere, on any device, perfect for the entire family. And easy to use. Enjoy Pioneer iVideo today. Oklahoma's number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at Scordle.com slash stream. At Maples Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a friend, we've got your back always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples Nicks and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. experts at Versatile Networks a call. In most cases, we can provide a phone system with brand new phones for less than your current monthly bill. Call us for a free quote today. Allegiant Marketing Group produces inbound lead generation for our clients through integrated traditional and digital campaigns. We continuously develop new strategies, tactics, and productive efficiencies so you can reach your target market and get a measurable return on investment. This fast-paced world demands for your products and services to be presented at the moment your buyers need them. Targeted and innovative marketing creates your success. Call AMG today, your marketing partner. Dr. Matt Dieselhorst at Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics can help you get game day ready. Dr. Dieselhorst works with athletes of all ages, taking a coordinated approach to accelerate return to play and maximize athletic performance. His work with pros in sports training, injury prevention, bracing, functional rehabilitation and imaging works seamlessly with his medical and surgical expertise. Get started by going to Dieselhorst Sports and Orthopedics. Let Dr. Matt Dieselhorst get you back on the field. Backing all Oklahoma athletes on the field and off. Support your school's booster club and get your business in front of thousands of potential customers. Talk about a win-win. Advertising packages start on this streaming station for less than $10 a game. Call 405-726-0835 or email adam at squirtle.com right now for more information. 
stream with Pioneer iVideo and more. Live, recorded, on demand, all in HD. Easily find and watch your favorite shows and movies anywhere. Welcome back. We're getting ready to start the third quarter of the Constellation Championship game. Pond Creek leads starting third quarter, 30 to 21. It's gonna be Burlington ball coming out. We'll see if we can't make any adjustments coming out of this halftime. We didn't score very many points there in that second quarter. Pond Creek turned the pressure up on us. We didn't get very many shots off. We're gonna see what adjustments made at halftime here. See if we can't get some kids some touches. The scoring situation. There's a good touch for Allie Hamilton right there. Reverse, reverse. <coughs> Run a little flex offense. There's Ashlyn. Hallie. Jaden inside. Gonna draw a foul. Two free throws. Should be coming. First team foul for Pond Creek. Jaden go to the free throw line. She had a great first quarter. She had 11 points in the first quarter. Only had two in the second. Let's see if she can get, get the third quarter to go like the first quarter. Free throw up and good. 30 to 22. Pond Creek lead. 740 left to go in the third quarter. That foul was on number 25, Abby Miller. That was her fourth foul. She's going to come out of the game now. Second free throw up, long. Tips around, goes to Miley Sims. Put back. There's a two. Start the third quarter on a 3-0 run. 30 to 20. Four is your score. Miley's fifth points of the night. Name the man by Burlington. High on ball screen, looking to drive, kick corner. Looking inside. McReynolds is back, the end of the game. Skip pass opposite. Three, made. Brinkley Barkley. She ha this Ponson team has shot the ball extremely well today. I'd say they've made seven to eight threes for the 33 points, if not more. Shooting extremely well. Jaden Williams with the ball at the top. Pass to the right wing. Ashley Pascal looked in the post. Helen Hamilton not there. Ball Miley Sims. Good decision not to reverse it. Backdoor cut by Jaden. Good idea. Hallie Hampson now with the ball left wing, drives left, attacks. Got, looks like she might have got pushed right there. She had a pretty good view of it. The rest might have been blocked, throws the ball out of bounds. Plunker with the ball, crossing half court. Man to man defense, Jaden Garden and Lee Davis. High on ball screen, she rejects it, doesn't use it. Looking inside, not there, high post touch. Back out to Davis. One dribble pull up, long, rebound, Brooke with it, pass to Hallie Hamilton, pushes the ball across half court. At the point, hand off Jaden Williams. Reverse the Brook, denies Jaden, there we go, catch, it's gonna come back to Hallie at the top. Looks like we were trying to run an offense and somewhere we got mixed up and we're not in anymore. Ball dead, it's gonna be back court. Again, their ball pressure, man-to-man -man defense, this causes problems tonight. Normally man-to-man -to -man doesn't cause us many issues. Concrete's doing a little bit different tonight, taking us out of our, our timing on all of our offenses. Ball go inside to McReynolds. Thrown away. Miley Sims comes up with it. It's going to be a travel. <laughs> Ponkirk with a timeout. 30 second timeout, says the official. Scores 33 to 24. Ponkirk's up nine with 5.33 left to go in the third quarter. We came out. We started a 3 0 run, a lot of effort plays. Ponkirk came down, hits a three. So we had the same lead as they had the same lead as they did at halftime. Right now, we're going to have to make some adjustments. We're going to have to find a way to um, score the ball a little bit. Pond Creek's done a great job with lots of pressure. And with that, it's taking us out of our continuity offense. 
We're not getting the normal touches, the normal looks we normally look at. Also, with the ball pressure, we do have some people flashing maybe open, but the ball pressure is causing us to see them a second or two late. And so by the time we see them, they're really not open anymore for a shot. So we're going to have to get the ball, triple threat, rip through, look to attack off that. Coming out of this timeout to be Palm Creek's ball on the baseline. They're going to set up with a spread look. Usually in this look, they're all cutting. Let's see. There, McReynolds is going to cut in, try to post up. They fill, pass out, reverse, reverse. McReynolds follows ball. Double, kick out. Zahorski, who had a great first half. Back into McReynolds, looks to score. Off the glass for two. Man-to-man -man press once again. Denying Jaden Hard. Gets it in. Now we can break it. As long as we get the ball in, we can usually break it against the man-to-man. Concord -man. yelling for more pressure, more pressure. Jaden picks it up. Ball over the right wing to Howie. Pull up. Off the glass. Miss. Long rebound. Nick Reynolds. Concrete gets it. Brings it up. And with Davis ball in her hand to the corner. We didn't match up in transition. Three-point make. Concrete 38-24. to Jaden brings the ball up, Ashley in the corner, dribble right, picks it up, dead now, gets the ball to Halley, Halley to Jaden. We got a count, count switches, but she picked it up, Halley's going to attack here, pulls up, long. Defensive around Pond Creek, Davis bringing it up for Pond Creek here, looks to attack left, kicks to the corner, we left. Left Zahorski once again for a made three. That's her 24th point of the night. Concrete, what they're doing, if you notice, they are attacking the paint. They're trying to get a paint touch. You'll hear me say that a lot in the next game at the boys' game because Garber, their whole offense is paint touches. They track paint touches. So what they're trying to do is what Concrete just did right there. Come back to that great drive by Jaden Williams to the left. Help came over past Ashley Pascal. Two points, 41-26 your score, 3.30 left to go. You know what Pontiac's trying to do is they're trying to drive, get a paint touch, create help. When someone helps, they kick the ball to the corner, and they're letting that shot go. And they've shot extremely well tonight, so that offense works. Inside-out basketball for another three. Long came back ball side. Howie Hinton rebound. Jaden Williams pushing it. Ball to Howie. This should be going up for three. Short. Davis with a rebound. She's going to attack. They have a little pep in her step. Jay Williams straight up. No foul called. Missed layup. Defensive rebound. Coming back to Burlington's ball. Allie Hamilton with the ball. We're going to have to get a little pep in our step here. We're down 15 points for 10 and a half minutes. We're going to have to get some great shots. We can slowly come. Guess we got a five second call right there. Didn't look like they were within an arm's length, but um, I guess they were. So there's a five-second call. Anyway, we can come back in this game. Got to do it possession by possession. There's no 15-point play in basketball. It's going to start on the defensive end with stops. Get a stop, and then come back and score. Do that three or four times. We're in the game. Inside out basketball. That's not the way to, to fall back into it. Three-point bucket, 44-26 concrete. Going on a big run this quarter, stretching out the lead. Hallie Hamilton inside with the ball, reverse layup, miss. That's a shot Hallie makes 97% of the time, and it's just not falling tonight. Tough night for her so far. 18-point lead for Concrete with two minutes left to go in the third quarter. Ball inside, McReynolds. She misses it, pushes Miley in the back. That's going to be her third foul, I believe. Fourth foul, actually. Yes, fourth foul. So we should have a sub here. That helps us. And since she's been back in the game, the inside-out basketball has been very good for Pond Creek, throwing the ball inside. She sees opposite. And with Pond Creek shooting weather, shooting tonight. It's caused for a good lead. 
Ball in bounds. Howley gets it. Going to be a foul on Palm Creek. Number 21, Zahorski. It's only her second foul tonight. Ball out of bounds once again. Ball's going to Jaden Williams. Pushing the ball up the right. Jaden's got to create here. Catch shot three for Howley. That one goes in finally, 44 to 29. Let's see if that doesn't create a spark for us defensively. It's only a 15 point game. A stop here, score again. We can cut the lead and then fourth quarter, maybe we can have a really good quarter on cutting the lead and have a chance to win the ball game. And there's a deflection, looks like, I think it's off Ponkrick, it is. Good play by Brooke Whitted right there to cause some havoc to create a turnover. Hallie with the ball coming up. We'll see if we can't continue what we just started last possession. Hand off to Jaden Williams, dribbling up the left wing. Back to Hallie. She's going to attack the hip. That's a good attack. Good find for Miley. It's going to be a jump ball. Go to Palm Creek. Good idea by Hallie right there. Miley had her girl still. Pass went off her hands, bobbled it. And Concrete came up with it. But that's a good idea. We'll see if we can continue doing that a little bit. A lot of people yelling for backcourt there. It's not backcourt. All three points have to get across the half-court line before it can be called backcourt. Three-point shot up for Palm Creek. Miss. Allie Hampton comes up the rebound. Ball to Jaden Williams. Now we're attacking. 50 seconds left to go in the third quarter. 44-29 to score. Jaden with the attack. High off the glass. Comes off. Rim, Palm Creek with a defensive rebound. Trap right here. What are we going to get? Looks like we're going to push on Brooke with it. It's all right. That's a good trap. Looks like we're trying to create some turnovers. It's only her second. That's good defense. Good aggressive defense, I should say. We can live with that. Try you're down 15, you've got to create turnovers to get easy buckets. Ball in bounds for Concrete now, top of the key. Emily Davis has the ball. There's a count. Ooh, that could have almost been a steal. Ashton was almost there. Good, good anticipation. We're in a little zone right here, it looks like, this time. Skip pass for Concrete. They're going to go one shot, it looks like, here. Shot, missed this time. Leaves us with enough time to get a shot off at least. Five seconds, four seconds, three seconds, foul. Looks like it's going to be a block, and he's going to call it on the baseline. 3.1 seconds left. 44-29, third quarter. Palm Creek leads. Three seconds here to get a shot off. That foul on Zahorski. That's her third foul. Team's fourth. Ball to Halley. Three seconds, two seconds. Ball goes up. Just missed it. Scores going to be 44 to 29 in the third quarter. Park Creek dominated third quarter. We could still be in this game. We're going to get some stops. We're going to get some scores and see if we can't make a game out of it here in the fourth. Thank you for watching BurlingtonElks.tv. On any device, perfect for the entire family. And easy to use. Enjoy Pioneer iVideo today. number one high school streaming service, Scordle.tv. Find out more at scordle.com slash stream. At Maple's Nixon Diesel Horse, we've helped a lot of people, and our goal was to treat each and every person like a friend. And as a... Welcome back. We're getting ready to start the fourth quarter of your Girls' Consolation Championship. Tough third quarter for your Burns and Lady Elks. Scores 44-29, Palm Creek leads. We do have the capability and the players to come back and make a game out of this and potentially win, but it's going to have to start with some defense, steals, runouts, and, and some made shots, obviously. 
Foul counts four to one. We have fouls to give so we can play aggressive. Coming out of the third quarter, it's going to be Burlington ball. And don't forget, up next we have our boys playing Garber in the Constellation Championship. It should be a good game as Coach Hunt is from Garber, Coach Garber. They, each other know, they know each other very well. Jane Williams with the ball to start the fourth quarter. That's going to be a block. Foul's going to be on number 11, Destiny Ortiz. It's only her. Let's see, yep, her first foul. Ball back to Jaden. Let's try this again. Uh, not a great eye, not a great pass as they jump the lane. Coast to coast for Palm Creek. That's Brinkley Bartley for two, her 10th point of the night. Palm Creek staying with the pressure, trying to take us out of our timing and continuity of what we do. Hallie's going to be aggressive, try to drive, kick out to Ashton Pascal. Back to Hallie. Drives baseline, going to go reverse layup. Miss. Miley Sims with an offensive rebound, puts it in, and one. Miley once again doing what she does. Offensive rebound, puts it up, draws a foul, makes it. 16th foul on Palm Creek. Second foul on number 11, Destiny Ortiz. Miley will go back through the line, shoot one. All that started with a great drive by Hallie Hamilton. Free throw up and good. Miley shot free throws extremely well today. Scores 46 to 32. Seven minutes, 20 seconds left to go in the fourth quarter. Let's see if we can up our intensity on defense, try to create some turnovers to change the game. Go Horsky with the ball in the corner. X. Loose ball goes to Palm Creek up top. Bartley with a two. Palm Creek still shooting the ball extremely well today. I would say they're probably shooting 40s to 50%. Today, if not even better than that. Skip pass over to Ashton Pascal. Back to top, Brooke with it. Jaden pops out. Tries to go back door. Hustle play by both. It's going to be a jump ball to Palm Creek. Kelly Briscoe, sophomore, coming in for Palm Creek right now. Ball back to Emily Davis. High post touch, we're in the zone right now. Loose ball, Hallie on the floor to get it. <coughs> Finds Jaden Williams, pushing the ball up to the sideline, slows it down, great decision, didn't have numbers. Back to Hallie, she's gonna attack, pull up jumper, just off the back of the rim. On the rebound, Miley Sims bumped into a girl they call foul. With that, McGrills is gonna come back in. Miley second. Palm Creek bringing the ball down the court. Six minutes, 15 seconds left to go. 48-32, Palm Creek leads. If we're going to cut in this lead, we're going to have to do it pretty quickly here. Inside to McReynolds. Kick out, Zahorski. She's been on fire today. Long, that one's short, goes out of bounds. Burlington ball. Zahorski, the leading scorer for your Palm Creek. Panthers has 24 points. Jaden Williams. Three Burlington Elks with 14. Miley Sims with eight. Hallie with five. Ashland with five. Nice spin move by Jade Williams. Finds Ashland Pascal. Nothing there for her. Gonna dribble the right. Find Jade. Great baseline drive. Looking to drive. Score. A little long. Defensive rebound. Palm Creek. Jane applies pressure to the ball. Trying to get a steal. Not there. Backed up so she doesn't foul. Palm Creek bringing the ball down. Ball to Zahorski. Throws it up. Thought McReynolds was going to be there. She wasn't. Conk was with a loose ball into the corner. Back into McReynolds. Opposite to Zahorski. Baseline drive right. Good help by Miley Sims. Kind of a weird play right there. Went off the side. I thought maybe out of bounds. They didn't call that. Long story short, though, Burlington comes away with the defensive rebound. <coughs> Hallie with the ball. On ball screen attacks. Pull up jumper. Short off front of the rim. Defensive rebound, Palm Creek. <coughs> Inside of McReynolds. Hallie Hampton with a good straight up defense. 
She shoots over the top of it. Defensive rebound. Hallie brings it up. Pass to Jaden. Jaden looks to attack. Spins back right. Davis was there waiting on it. Taking it all the way. Brooke getting down. Great job by Brooke getting all the way down there. Bunch of scrounging. Loose ball. Three shot up and good. We're going to have stoppage of play. Looks like the horse skis on the ground. Maybe got her ankle. Looks like her right ankle. She's going to get up. Looks like we're going to have a sub for her. Abby Miller's going to come in to see if we have any break at all. We might get a towel out there. Maybe not. Looks like we're going to go ahead and play. I'm not going to wipe up any of the sweat. Must be all right. The Burlington ball scores 40, 51 to 32. Palm Creek's up. Four minutes, 28 seconds left to go. Moments like these are tough, especially when you're playing for a chance at some hardware. But this is also where you can learn experiences, where you grow and mature. Um, one thing I really like about this team is right now they could be quitting. They're not. They're still playing extremely hard, as you can tell by Jade Williams with that drive right there. Everyone's trying to block out. So what we got here on the call. We're going to call a foul on Miley Sims. And she pulled her down. I mean, Miley's third foul. Team's third. Anyway, like I was saying, we're still playing hard, playing hard defense. Palm Creek's just played extremely well today. Credit will go to them for executing their game plan, for shooting the ball as well as they do, and for playing as hard as they are. Going to have another foul on Burlington right here. It's going to be the fourth team foul. Foul's going to go against Jaden Williams. Only her first of the game. So again, even though we may be down, you gotta be proud of the girls for continuing to work, play hard, do the things the right way, not give up. Ball, three point shot in the corner. Made by Palm Creek, their hot streak continues. One of the better shooting performances we've seen all year. Allie Hamilton with the ball at the point to the right wing. Mishandled, still Palm Creek. Attacks, past the left wing, drives in, going to get a blocking call on Hallie Hamilton. It's going to be Hallie's third, team fifth. Baseline out of bounds for Palm Creek right here. They're going to spread again. Usually on this, what they've done is dive the Grinnells into post. There she goes. Past the wing. They rotate, rotate. Shot's going to go up, though. Defensive rebound, Jaden Williams. Hallie thought about setting high on ball screen for Jaden, but coach called something, do something different. Iso Jaden. Good left hand. Miley Sims with an offensive rebound, kick out to Halley. One dribble pull up, kick out to Brooks. Three point shot goes up. Short. It's a good looking shot. Third day of the tournament with two and a half minutes left to go in the game. Legs may be a little tired at this point. But a good looking shot. Shot we want Brooke taking every chance she gets. Concrete's down, drives right, missed. Halley Hamilton with a defensive rebound, pushing the ball. Drive left, off Pond Creek on the deflection. It's going to be Burlington ball, baseline out of bounds. The Horsky back in the game. That's good to see. Earlier we thought she rolled her ankle. She's holding it. We never want a player to be out, so that's a great thing to see her back on the floor to finish this game. Offense being ran by Burlington. Pass and cut offense. Looking to set backside sh shuffle screens. Trying to get something to the bucket. Hand off to Jaden. Quick on ball screen by Halley. Right hand layup by Jaden. Missed. Defensive rebound. Now Concrete's going to slow it down, work the clock, try to sh shorten this game and get out of here. Oh, miscommunication. Good block by Halley Hamilton again. We could have just easily let that one go. 
and let her get a layup, but we are still playing hard, showing true character, which is what Coach Hamilton has instilled in these girls from the beginning this year, which has been great to see. Teaching them how to be good people, work hard, get them prepared for life. Two-point shot in the corner for Palm Creek. Miss. Hallie Hamilton hustles after the ball. Going to be off Palm Creek. <coughs> Burlington ball. 54-32 is your score. 152 left to go in the fourth quarter. Two ball high on, ball, two high on ball screen, sorry. Jay Williams goes all over the paint. Miss layup. Looks like balls go out up on Pond Creek to be Burlington ball. Pond Creek's going to call a timeout. It's going to be a full timeout. I'm thinking the last time of the game, so we're going to take it with them, and we'll come back and finish this 137. Thank you for watching BurlingtonElks.tv. We've got your back, always. We understand what you're going through. Being lawyers is what we do, but it's not all that we are. We care. We'll stand beside you throughout the entire legal process, not just as lawyers, but as your friends. We are Maples, Nicks, and Diesel Horst, and we are here to help. of the Constellation Championship Girls game. This game has not gone the way that we'd like to go as a Burlington fan. Scores 54-32, Pond Creek is up. Credit goes to Pond Creek. Our girls play extremely hard. Tonight, Pond Creek has shot the ball probably 50, 55% from the three-point line. All their game plan to a tee. And have played extremely well defensively, causing havoc on our offensive side of the ball. With that being said, our girls are in this game. They've shown so much improvement throughout the year. We're expecting um, a good rest of the season. Next time they'll be in action is next Tuesday night. It's going to be at Timberlake, 6.30 game time. That's the team that they played yesterday and got the win. So we'll see them again on Tuesday night and see if we can't repeat what we did yesterday, move on from this game. Punk comes down doing what they do. Ball goes to Mick Reynolds. She looks opposite. We cheated out for a three, and someone slipped in there for a layup. It's going to be a foul on Hallie Hamilton. Team fifth, her fourth. To the free throw line is going to be sophomore Abby Miller. First shot's up and good. Next score, 55 to 32. Up next, we're going to have our boys in action for the Constellation Championship. We'll be playing the Garber Wolverines. It's going to be an intriguing game because our own coach, Dallas Hunt, second free throws up and miss. Offensive rebound. We're going to get a foul. It's going to send them to the baseline for Team Six foul. But Coach Hunt, Coach Garber, the last six years was part of their state championship run and then had two years of state runner up. He knows every single one of those players, coached them in elementary. And a lot of stuff that we actually run, they ran when uh, he was there. So it should be an intriguing game to watch. Fun game to watch us. They're all friends, um, still get to know each other, and, and they root for each other. But today he did tell me that um, him and Coach Fletcher text back and forth, and they both told each other no luck. So we'll see how that goes. Concrete turns the ball over right there. A minute 13 left to go in this game. 55-32, Palm Creek leads. Jane brings the ball down the floor. One minute left to go. Pass to Miley Sims in the corner. Looking inside to Hallie Hamilton. Couldn't quite get the angle. Same thing there with Brooke. Couldn't quite get the angle Hallie, but pass and cuts. Four out one in offense. Jane's looking to attack. Spins back right. Goes in. Ball to Hallie. She's going to try to score here. Scoop shot. Missed. Defensive rebound by Mick Reynolds. And we'll see if Concrete tries to score here or if they hold it.
Well played game today by both teams. Concrete played well, shot the ball well, solid defense, cost disruptions for Burlington. We just weren't at the top of our game today. And basketball is a game that does that sometimes. These girls will be back in action on Tuesday for Timberlake, as I said earlier. Go rebound, play hard, and have a chance to go win that game. Nothing to hang their heads about. Zahorski shoots a three here, misses it. Offensive rebound, miss shot anyway. So once again, congratulations to, your, to the Pond Creek Panthers. Comes away with the fifth place consolation championship trophy. Burlington will be back in action on Tuesday. Up next, we'll have action of your Burlington Elks versus the Garber Wolverines. We'll look back to see you in about 10 minutes. Thank you for watching BurlingtonElks.tv, and thank you for Trevor and Alex for everything that they do. See you in a bit.